And I think most of the country would agree that there's a better way to do trade than the way we've got it completed so far. But nonetheless, I think there's a lot of us that would really like to have as a goal hitting 4% GDP growth. And you can't do that unless you've got, number one, a good tax policy. We've done that. You've got to have the regulatory relief, which we've been working on. I think the president's already eliminated over 1,900 separate regulations. We've done 16 congressional resolutions of disapproval, but there's some pieces that are missing yet. Number one, you've got to have a good trade policy in place because we can produce a lot more than what we are today if we have a place to move it. In terms of food, 95% of the world's population and, and, and the market is outside of the United States today. Uh, and along with that, you've got to have a, a qualified labor force. That's one of the reasons why we really need to, to improve and to, uh, to upgrade our immigration policies in the United States to start talking about a merit-based system. We need more workers in the United States. So combination of all of it together can really push our GDP. And that's what it's going to take, I think, long term, is just shoot for 4%. Make this thing happen. Senator, do you expect China uh, to target Trump's base with the retaliation in, in states like yours and in, in agriculture states uh, to, to try to put pressure on him to, to back down? Just the talk of, uh, uh, of tariffs impacts our market. In South Dakota, as an example, we've, uh, we've got 840,000 people in our state. There's about 32,000 different farms within South Dakota. Let me give you an example of what the impact has been since March 1st. We do a lot of corn. That's our largest commodity crop. Uh, soybeans is number two. Uh, corn's down 11 cents since March 1st, but soybeans, which was subject to the tariff discussion, that's down a buck 45. The impact in our state on cash, uh, just in terms of, of balance sheets for producers, that's about uh, right now somewhere, and this is this is about uh, this is what's scary about it. It's about 430 million dollars in impact in our state right now on balance sheets. Senator Rounds, to this point, Donald Trump's base of support has, has been strongly behind him. In fact, his approval ratings right now are at the highest level they've been since he took office. Is that the case in your state still? Are they still standing behind him? It, it, it is. In fact, I was just home uh, this weekend and, and visited with a lot of folks, uh, grocery stores and so forth. And the message is, number one, uh, may not like the fact that we've got uh, commodities that could be under pressure by other countries. but. You know, it's about time uh, we address some of this stuff. They like the fact that the president's standing up for the United States. They do worry sometimes that maybe the, the strategy behind it is not totally laid out. Um, as we talk about it with them, we say, look, what we're concerned about is, is as we get closer to pr crop production time period, as we start looking at what our harvests are going to be looking like and so forth, it'd be really good to have some trade policies established so that we don't have a real impact on those commodity prices just because the markets are looking at it in an unsettled condition. So it, it, they're, they're sticking with him right now, but they want to know what the end game is. They want to know, and fairly quickly, what are you going to do? We lost TPP. Uh, you haven't got any of those other countries in an individual deal with us yet. We're fighting with, with Mexico, who is our number one recipient of corn from the United States. We're fighting with Canada. And we're fighting right now with China, and they buy uh, about 25% of the entire soybean market coming out of the United States. So there's patience there. There's an understanding that it's not going to be easier. It would have been done a long time ago. But there's also a, a level of concern saying, I hope there's a game plan. Let's find out what this, what this is all about. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.